They asked me to uh, do a five minute talk. I thought, well, what could I teach in five minutes? It uh, better be something that I can teach that uh, you're already pretty good at. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, when you go to these uh, parties and they ask you, what do you do at a, what do you do? And you say, math teacher, you notice they all take that step back, <laughs> okay? Well, math anxiety is something that uh, we're good at, and I want to make sure that we continue that tradition. <laughs> so I want to return to these days when we ruled with an iron fist, okay? So I'm going to be sharing with you at least 10 rules for teaching math anxiety, okay? <laughs> So take notes. Math anxiety rule number one, always call on a student first, then without pausing, ask a question. <laughs> Square root of 36. <laughs> okay. Rule number two, avoid any references to practical applications. <laughs> Stress the abstract nature of mathematics at all times. Guaranteed. All right, all right. We love our symbols. We love them, why can't they? <laughs> okay. Rule number three, when correcting papers, give correct to only to answers, avoid partial credit at all costs. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. no partial credit there. <laughs> Math anxiety rule number four, always insist on students using the correct answer. <laughs> Heaven forbid. <laughs> okay. Math anxiety rule number five, make all tests sufficiently difficult and lengthy so that only the very swift can finish. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, you can have that by, if you can answer just one question, what's the average rainfall in the Amazon basin? Time's up. <laughs> Math anxiety rule number six, when going over homework, never, never reveal any of the difficulties you had solving that damn problem the night before. <laughs> Don't give it away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Math anxiety rule number seven, never let students use their notes. They're not going to be allowed to use notes in the real world, are they? Okay. okay. If only you can take notes with you, right? Math anxiety rule number eight, always stress competition. Never, never let them work together. They start working together, you're going to get people smiling, laughing, talking. Makes it very difficult to work on that math anxiety. Math anxiety rule number nine, always speak in the abstract and use lots of symbols. Never, never use manipulatives. In fact, the only manipulative you need... <laughs> math, uh... math anxiety rule number 10, it's the little things that are important. Always pepper your lecture with these kinds of expressions, okay? <laughs> now this is the audience participation time. I'm going to have a number of expressions. Follow along with me. Oh, that's obvious. Okay. Or how about? That's a stupid <laughs> question. <laughs> Very good. You've done this before, I can tell. Okay. How about? You see how it's done, don't you? Who yeah. doesn't get it? Raise your hand. You don't. You, who's done? That. All right. Very good. All right. You're doing well. You're doing well. All right. Some students have enough mind and some don't. Okay. You got it. Okay. And? Oh, that's easy. My favorite, guaranteed. It's very simple. Watch. All right, you practice these, okay? <laughs> and never, never allow this book into your, into your schools. <laughs> Guaranteed. We've got to make sure that's... Because this is the kind of thing that starts happening. You try to do your best, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And certainly, if you see any of these around, destroy them. They're guaranteed to cause problems for us here. All right? Sandra Davis... Bill of Rights. And finally, now for your surprise test. Okay? <laughs> Question one. Given the seven initial postulates of Euclid, establish all of high school plane geometry. <laughs> Question number two. 
given the five postulates of Peano, derive all the properties of the real number system. <laughs> Question number three, show the connections between the two mathematical systems above, paying particular attention to their multicultural influences. <laughs> oh, be brief. Okay. Keep up the efforts and we can secure a lasting peace in our society. Thank you very much.